everyone. Welcome to Just Begin, where we talk about starting a business or if we should start a business while working a full-time job. And of course, you should start a business. And of course, it is possible to start a business while working a full-time job. Just wanted to make sure that I address that. Um, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling absolutely amazing. This weekend is my birthday weekend. Yesterday was my birthday. And I can remember this time last year when I was still new to making YouTube videos and I was still nervous and I really didn't know what direction I wanted my channel to go in. I just know that I wanted it to be about just beginning your new journey, just beginning your new journey into entrepre entrepreneurship. So tonight is going to be a little bit different than the rest of the videos. I just want to talk to you about my past year. Okay. So as you all know, yesterday was my birthday. So I'm reflecting on my past year. Okay. And basically a lot of the things that went on in my past year was me growing as a business owner. And I learned so much. Okay. Uh, I'm going to back up a little bit and share my story with you. Um, as you all know, uh, I quit my job about a year ago and then I started a real estate investing business and then I started a coaching business. Okay. Teaching people how to on, uh, obtain entrepreneurship through real estate investing. And I'm very passionate about that because my life changed when I became a business owner, okay? And, and, and I've learned so much. So um, let's just talk about that. Uh, I have no regret, regrets about leaving my job. Um, that has been one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life, okay? I um, have had such an amazing time uh, just spending more time with my with my daughter and just uh, any type of family events that have come up. I didn't have to ask for time off. Um, I didn't need any type of permit permission. And it's been really amazing to live life on my own terms. OK, it was something that was totally different from for me. I was so used to. Um, having to go by a set schedule that my job made for me, um, begging for time off when I needed to do things or if an emergency came up, uh, feeling like I might be fired um, because I had an emergency. So um, yeah, those are some of the things that I've gone through, but I don't have to go through that anymore because now I do have my own business and I have that time freedom and to me, time freedom is priceless, okay? So I definitely don't regret the decision that I made. And another thing I wanted to talk about is, yes, at first it was scary, okay? So if you've been following this channel and, and <laughs> following some of the, uh, the video topics, some of the things that I've discussed, you know, have been kind of scary, like, you know, transitioning from an employee to an entrepreneur, that is a scary thing because a lot of people are not comfortable um, relying on themselves and not a job to create income. And I do understand that. And I definitely went through that phase as well. And I mean, it's just a, a phase that you go through. OK, you're going to be in the learning curve as you set up the systems and the processes in your business. And until you start generating money. It's just a scary time. Um, I really don't think that's any, if there's any way to avoid that, but I can tell you that you will grow through it if you just stay the course. Um, so if you're going through that right now, I can definitely relate to you. There was definitely a time when I was very uh, just scared. <laughs> it was scary at first, but now a year later, I can tell you I'm no longer scared. Um, things have been working out. And it's just, it's just a beautiful thing, you know, to be able to, to help homeowners with whatever situation they have going on and actually, uh, you know, 
generate income through real estate investing. It's, it's a very good feeling. Um, it's a very good feeling to help other people um, start their business and teach them about real estate investing. It's just been an amazing ride. It, it, it really has. Um, and, you know, I already spoke on family time being priceless. Uh, my daughter, she has really enjoyed this. And uh, we just have no regrets. This is just the most beautiful thing ever. Just having just that time freedom, you know, just being able to travel when you want to, being able to take the time off or do anything um, that comes up that's pertinent and not having to ask for time off, okay? Just kind of picture that. It's an amazing thing. And um, just knowing that you can survive without your current job. <laughs> so I know I've talked about this on my channel before. My previous nine to five, um, I, was, I, I was in that field for 20 years, okay? So yeah, I left the, the, my nine to five that, you know, I was in that industry for 20 years and I just up and quit and I learned something new and, and I started doing something different and um, I'm okay, I can survive, you know, without that job. And initially I didn't know that, so, I, so I've learned a lot. And um, if you're thinking about going through the transition of um, being an employee and then you wanna to transition to being an entrepreneur, you know, it's, it's, it's an experience, but you can do it, okay? So this is why it's so important for me to share my story, because by sharing my story, it might inspire you. And another thing that I've learned is that networking is very important, okay? So I know I've talked about it in a lot of previous videos that as a business owner, you definitely wanna surround yourself with other business owners, okay? Um, we actually think differently, okay? We, we really do. It really is a mindset shift, okay? From um, being, being an, an employee, okay? So now that you're a business owner, you view things differently. Uh, you, you try to look at the, the positive side instead of looking at things as, oh, it's not gonna work, I can't do it. We kind of stay away from those negative things and we just look at things as I can do it and I will do it. Now, do we have to be strategic? Yes. Do we have to um, you know, know everything we can possibly know about our business? Yes, you know, within reason. But um, you do have to be on top of your skills. You do have to, um, you know, be good at what it is you're going into business in. And that's why I always recommend that having a coach is very necessary, okay? So yes, I, I do think that people should hire a business coach when they're um, starting a business, especially for the first time, because they can help uh, navigate you through some of the decisions that you have to make um, kind of guide you through some of the things that, that you'll have to do because they've already done it. And this would be a good time for me to mention that I am a business coach. Um, I do teach uh, people how to obtain entrepreneurship through real estate investing, and I am accepting new clients. So um, feel free to reach out to me. I'm on Instagram now at Sharon underscore Just Begin Coaching. You can DM me, I would love to talk to you. Or you can email me at Sharon at JustBeginCoaching.com. I would love to hear from you. And um, it's just been an amazing ride, I'm super excited. Like I said, my birthday was yesterday. And this is just a very amazing time for me. I'm going into, I'm just finishing up my first year of business ownership. So I'll be, you know, diving into my second year. And it's just, it's a really beautiful thing. And if you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, if you're thinking about leaving your job to start a business, please reach out to me. I would love to talk to you and just see what your plans are as far as um, becoming a business owner, maybe I can help you. I mean, of course, uh, maybe I'm not the right fit for you, 
But if you just want to talk it over to see maybe if I am, if I can help you with anything, we can definitely hop on the phone and talk about it and see what your plans are and to see if there's any way that I can help you. Okay. I do have a business group on Facebook called Just Boss Up. It is for business owners and for future business owners. I'm active in the group every day. And we just talk about things that business owners talk about. I would love to talk to you. I would love to see you in a group. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.